My son Camp was pretty vocal about uh, the Broncos losing and he, he, I mean anti Peyton Manning. Yes, he and, was saying uh, he shouldn't play, that Brock Osweiler should play. Right. If Peyton would play, the Broncos would lose was his thing. Yeah, and he got dogpiled on by a bunch of people on social media. Yes, it was, and it was he violent. Was, he was on our show and he was like, and it was pretty cool because he was, at last night at dinner, he was talking about what you said to him, Kyle. You had said, look, What'd you say about it? I said, I respect the fact that he owns his own opinion. Right. You know, and th- you're entitled to have your opinion, whether or not people like what you say or not. Right. And so, so he was wrong or whatever. So then yesterday, you know, a bunch of people were making comments because we have this um, hashtag love up Colorado shirt. Uh, that's all about the Broncos, and it's for sale at johnjanerich.com. All the money goes to our foundation to help kids in foster care. And somebody made a comment about, why don't you have Kemp put on the Broncos jersey and apologize, or something like that. So why I read, does he need to apologize? Right, right, right. But I was like, we'll have some fun with it. So um, we go into his room, in the Dutch's room, and Dutch has a fat head of Peyton Manning in his room. Oh, that's cool. And So, so Kemp, Dutch is a huge fan huge. of Peyton Manning. And Kemp was a huge fan of, the, of Peyton Manning before, too. I mean, he, yeah, yeah, everyone was two right. years ago, bandwagon. Right, right, right. So he, he was a fan of the Broncos. I mean, Kemp, Kemp has <laughs> many different... Is. He's a fan of football, yes. right? So, yeah. And it's fun to pick sides and do whatever. Sure. So uh, we go in front of, in Dutch's room, and we start to film. Kemp starts to film something, improvise something. And out of nowhere, Dutch comes from underneath the bed and attacks Kemp. I'm Kemp Van Ash from Kemp's Corner, and I said that the Broncos were going to lose, but they played better than I thought, and I am sorry. You shouldn't be sorry. You shut up, God. Crazy. <laughs> they all. Like, what does hell? he say at the end? I'm gonna hit you. I think he says I'm gonna hit you or I hate you. I don't know. And they they start rolling around, and then I had to. I was like, it like it got out of control, and I had to stop filming, and they beat the hell out of each other, <laughs> <laughs> which is what brothers do. Yeah. So but that video is on my Instagram. Sorry. The video is on my Instagram not. at John J Van S. If you want to see it, as well as as well as the picture of the uh, the love up shirt. Look, you don't <laughs> see the people from whatever NFL Today or you know right. Kurt Warner's on there, and they're the people talking about their. But you don't see them apologizing for what they think was going to happen. He doesn't need to do that. I know. You're right. You're right. And uh, I bet you those guys too, because you know they always have to pick the games. Like they'll say, I think the Cardinals are going to destroy Carolina after the after. Panthers destroy the Cardinals, they don't say, ooh, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I know. But I guarantee you on social media, they are getting their butts handed to them. Meanwhile, it's this 12-year-old kid gets piled on by everybody saying, nah, you said the Broncos, you better eat crow. Right. Okay, what 12. he should have said in the video is, hey, you get some right, you get some wrong. That's great. We'll cut that I one today. I happen to have gotten that one wrong. Right. Hashtag, sorry, not sorry.